What is up everyone, Clayton here, and today we're here with another Skyrim How to Find. Today we're getting the last Dragon Priest Mask. And yeah, this is a live episode, so say hi to Indigo, everyone. H hi, Indigo. Uh, but yeah, we're after the last mask, which you can get here at Labyrinthian. Um, I, I didn't really show you the map very well, but Labyrinthian's right here. There's Morfall. Um, you've been here before if you got Mordecai's mask, that's why I didn't really want to show it. Uh, but you need all nine, or yes, all eight masks uh, to be able to get the last ninth mask. And in the center of uh, Labyrinthian here, you'll see this uh, little barrow, I guess you could say. And this is, a, this is a named barrow. I don't know how to say it, as long as I don't know how to say the other mask as well. It's like Karnarith, Karnarith. Um, but yeah, it's the last Dragon Priest mask, and it's pretty cool. But uh, there's kind of a way you have to go through it and get it. And uh, it starts with this mask here, but let's go ahead and read this note real quick. It seemed like an easy enough job. Graz and me had done plenty like this before. Some chinless Bretons want bodyguards for a trip into the mountains. Fine, easy clink for us. He, go he goes on about this twice forsaken mask of his whole... Of his the whole way. Of course, got a pretty good laugh when Graz snatched it and put it on her face. He threatened to fire us for that one. Not smart out here on your own. He realized that fast and shut up about not paying. So when we got here, he thumbed through some papers and muttered to himself, Never you mind that me and Graz had to cut through ten sneaking, stinking trolls just to get him here. And without so much as a warning, poof, he puts on the mask and vanishes. Could have put my hand on his throat one moment, the next he's not so much as thin air. Well, after a while, we didn't know what to do and Graz picked her gear up and headed home. When he poofed back that mask in his hand, begged us not to leave. Says he needs us to wait. This is what he's paying us for. Then puts on the mask on his sorry face and he's gone again. I'd seen cloaks do invisibility before, but a few swings of my fist proved he wasn't pulling that one. Nothing there to hit. He showed up again and tells us that he just need more time. Has to figure out something about other masks and vanishes again. That was yesterday. I'm done with twiddling my thumbs and writing letters to myself. We're leaving camp come sunrise, and if he shows up again, I promise Azura I'm putting this dagger through his chest to keep him in one place. We'll pull more loot off him, his dead body than we could have paid alive. But not the mask. That cursed thing can stay here and rot with him and the trolls right here. So I assume this is that Breton that was uh, exploring the place, and we need this wooden mask to be able to activate... Um, the barrow, I guess you could say. So let's go ahead and go equip this wooden mask. So this more or less teleports us back in time to before th this was destroyed. I think it's even called something. Yeah, Broomjar Sanctuary, uh, which is kind of like a Dragon Priest Sanctuary, I think it's called. But yeah, this is kind of goes back in time to show you what it was like before it was destroyed. Uh, but right here, you can see the eight masks, or it's eight busts that you can put mask on. And if you have all the masks, you can start here on the left, and one by one, put each mask up here. And that right there will give us access to Conorick. So we'll go ahead and look at that real quick. We won't put it on because it will teleport us out of here. But when health is low, it has a chance to heal wearer and damage nearby enemies. So it's kind of a random thing. Um, it also randomly spawns a like a shade of a dragon priest to fight by your side. Um, yeah, and also if you want to improve this, you need a gold ingot and a Daedric smithing perk. Um, and this is the only dragon priest mask that oh the only dragon priest mask that doesn't have a priest uh, corresponding to it. It's just a random mask, I guess. And uh, this is the only mask besides Merrick's masks that looks any different than the other masks, or has a different design than other masks. So let's go ahead and take back all of our other masks so we don't lose them. Oh, I, I want to pick them up, please. There we go. And if we take off the wooden mask, we are teleported back in time pretty much or forward in time to present day uh, where we're able to uh, have all the masks here and right here is that mask so let's go step outside real quick get some uh, better lighting and take a look at this mask on my character uh, but yeah it kind of looks like elephant tusk let me take off my armor piece because it's kind of uh, 
protruding through. But yeah, that's it's pretty cool. Um, it's actually kind of one of the worst masks in the game, which is kind of ironic because you need the eight other masks to get it. Uh, but yeah, it does look pretty cool, and I think it does have more of an aesthetic effect than it would really a useful effect in battle. But yeah, this is our last mask, and uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and if you guys don't know how to get the rest of these masks, there will be links in the description for the playlist of all the other masks, and make sure to click that there. Uh, that way you can see how you get every other single mask, that way you can get this last mask. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, yeah, we did it. All nine Dragon Piece masks. This is Clayton, signing out.